Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one that you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 5 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n, right? And m times n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is also equal to a to the power of n times m. And if you can write a to the power of m times n as a to the power of m to the power of n, this means that we can write a to the power of n times m as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5. And I can think of x to the power of 5 here as m and I can think of 5 as n. So if I switch these two places, I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5. Now this is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now 100 is the same thing as 10 squared. So if I replace 10 squared with 100, I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 squared to the power of 5. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 5 equal to the variable y. So if I replace y for x to the power of 5, I get y to the power of y is equal to 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 10, because 2 times 5 is 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 10. Now, however, we aren't done yet, because remember how we said x to the power of 5 is equal to y. So if x to the power of 5 is equal to y, well, we already have our value of y, which is 10, meaning x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. Now, to solve this, I'm going to take the fifth root on both sides. And these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to the fifth root of 10, or this can also be written as 10 to the power of 1 over 5. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So then these still cancel out, and I'll be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, that's going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, if I take the ln on both sides, I get ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. And now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, for ln x to the power of x minus 2, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So now I get ln, sorry, I got x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. Now the value of ln 1 is simply equal to 0. So now I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. 
So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I also have ln x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, this is really simple. All I have to do is add 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 2. Now for ln x is equal to 0, I'm going to be taking e to the power of both, both sides. So now I have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. So e and ln x, these two are going to cancel out, so I'll be left with x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So my two values of x are x equals 2 and x is equal to 1. So now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So first off, if x equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of 2. I mean, 4 equals 4, so this is right. Now, if x is equal to 1, I get 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1. So this is right as well, meaning both their solutions are right. All right, so I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 20 to the power of 10. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 20 to the power of 10. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can actually move x to the front. So now I have x times log 2 is equal to, now I can do the same for log 20 to the power of 10. I can move the 10 to the front. So this is equal to 10 times log 20. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out. I'm left with x is equal to 10 times log 20 over log 2. Now, log 20 here, we could write this as 10 times log 10 times 2. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So in this case, log 10 times 2, can we write this as 10 times log 10 plus log 2? And I have this over log 2. Now, if I distribute the 10, I get x is equal to 10 times log 10 plus 10 times log 2, all over log 2. So now, I have x is equal to, log 10 is the same thing as 1, so I simply have 10 plus 10 log 2 over log 2. Now, this is the same thing as 10 over log 2 plus 10 log 2 over log 2. So, for 10 log 2 over log 2, these two log 2s will cancel out. So, now I'm left with x is equal to 10 over log 2 plus 10. Now, log 2, this is equal to... 0 0.301. Now I have this plus 10. So 10 over 0 0.301, this is equal to 33.2226. Now I have this plus 10. 
and this is equal to 43.2226. So this is my answer.